There is this fantastic quote by Mark Twain that states, I've lived through some terrible things in my lifetime, some of which actually happened. What does that mean? Well, I take it as meaning that our imaginations can run wild with the horrible negative things that could happen in our lives, especially when we get confronted with something that's really, really tough. You know, maybe there's a problem with our kid at school or there's somebody at work that is, you know, feels like they might have it in for you or there's some sort of problem that you may not know about. There's all kinds of little things that happen, bills that pop up that we have no idea how we're going to pay. And our mind goes into these crazy, crazy ruminations. Things get really, really insane. And if you think back about the stress that you've had, most of it has never happened. Well, today I'm going to give you a new way to react when those things happen to you that has been working for me for over 30 years, and it is so powerful. I am so excited to share this with you today to give you a completely fresh fresh way to move through these things and have the outcome be as you desire. This is Zen in a Moment is a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that moved you from stressed out to in the flow, flow meaning feeling light, open and wise. And I am your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. I have been through many, 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 many challenging situations. Believe me, I remember that when I was in college, I could barely make it month to month, and sometimes I had no idea where my food was going to come from or where my rent was going to come from. And time and time again, something would happen. It would pull through. Maybe you've had that experience. Or you're, maybe you've had experiences where your mind goes crazy about your health, you know, or something happens, your car breaks down, or let's say you're, you're going to buy a house and the house falls through, or maybe you're looking for a place to rent and you can't find a place to rent, or you lose a job that you were really counting on or didn't get a job that you were really counting on. Well, what I've learned over the years is that our lives are actually really perfect, that miracles and magic and synchronicity is the norm on this planet. If you look at nature... If you really go out and walk through nature, how can you not believe in magic? The way that our planet functions, our, the, the way that the, the, the oceans and the air travels even just around the planet and the rain and the weather and, and how, I mean, the ocean itself, you go out there and look at the perfection and the synchronicity of how all the creatures live together in harmony. Now, yes, we can mess these things up, but it's the same thing in our own lives. What messes us up is our mind and the way it perceives the world around you as not being magic, as being danger. So I came up with this beautiful little mantra that I use when I have stressful situations occur. And it is, here we go, ready? Are you ready? I don't know how, but this is going to end up being the best thing that could have ever happened. Say that again. I don't know how, but this is going to end up being the best thing that could have ever happened. Now, I want you just to think about it in a minute for a minute. Just just say that sentence to yourself a couple of times and notice how your body feels. Now, I'm not talking about positive thinking. I'm talking about aligning yourself with what is the most truest vibration and energy possible in a challenging situation. So let me give you an example of how this happened in my life. I was applying for a state school here in California And when I went into the counselor to talk to him about my grades and my future goals, he basically said, you don't belong here. (laughs) You belong at UC Davis. And I said, but I, I, they've already, I'm 23 years old and they've already closed their enrollment and I don't want to wait another year. And, you know, I, I, it's an expensive school, more expensive school than the state school. He said, listen, I'm telling you right now with your grades and what you're doing, you really need to wait and go to the UC school. It's going to serve you much better than we can here. And I was so upset because I was so ready to go to school. And I was thinking on my way to work, I was a waitress at the time, I was thinking on my way to work, I don't know how, I don't know how, but this is going to be the best thing that could have happened. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know it's going to be the best thing that could have happened. I've been using this mantra since I was about 19 years old. I got to work and I was telling the other servers how upset I was that I was going to be skipping a year of college. And one of the young women who was new actually at the restaurant said, you want to get into UC Davis? And I said, yeah. And she goes, you, you don't play any sports, do you? And I said, well, I played softball in high school. And she laughed and she said, my husband is the softball coach at UC Davis. Let me talk to him. So what ended up happening, long story short, is 
I ended up being on the softball team for UC Davis, and I got into school that year, and it was brilliant. I cannot believe it ended up being the best thing happened. I actually can believe it ended up being the best thing happened that could have happened. I have found over and over and over again that when I get upset about not having something or something not turning out the way that I my mind thinks it should, or something goes amiss, or I end up having a bill or, or, or something comes along, a person, right? That when I use this mantra in, in, in areas where I'm feeling challenged and, or in crisis or, or in despair, that there's a magic, a magic that happens. In the, in the work that I teach, I call it de- being in divine fascination. And what that means is, is being divinely fascinated at the way the world is about to unfold in front of you being divinely fascinated and waiting for magic to occur. It's in our anticipation of greatness and goodness and perfection coming into our life that the universe has the most power to act on our behalf. That's when the angels show up. That's when guides show up. That's when all of the goodwill that you have created in your life comes flooding to you. So I know it may be hard to remember because when crisis happens and challenges happen, they have a tendency to sweep us away like the tide and the current does in the ocean, right? Just kind of sweep us away in our lives and we can get all upset and frustrated. But if you can remember to say to yourself in those moments, I don't know how, but this is going to end up being the best thing that could have ever happened, you're going to find that all the forces of the universe is going to come back into alignment and show you the perfection of all that's around you. This is Zen in a Moment again. If you could do me a huge, 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 huge favor, please give me a rating on iTunes. It really makes a difference. What happens is, is more people find it because they keep pushing us up the charts. And so the more ratings that I get, and it only takes a second, you go to iTunes, you type in Zen in a Moment, and there's stars there. If you don't have iTunes downloaded, you can do it online. Um, a lot of you who have iTunes on your on your computer or on your iPhone can do it from there. Please give us a rating. I would love to hear about show topics. You can go to zeninamoment.com and submit your show topics. If you have a question about your internal guidance system or stress, worry, fear, anxiety, overwhelm, something you're dealing with in your life, I want to hear from you. I would love to do a show just for you on your topic. So please, please go to zeninamoment.com and under contact type in a little question or a topic for the show that you'd like to hear about and I will get to it. In the meantime, until we get to be together again, I'm sending you love and blessings.